Greetings everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are here to discuss about the lesson 3 of the book 21 Lessons of the 21st Century written by Yuval Noah Harari. But before we get into lesson 3, let's have a quick recap of what we had discussed in the previous video in the lesson 1. In the previous video, we had discussed about the growth in artificial intelligence machinery and robotics and how the growth in these fields are going to affect the job opportunities in the future. Today we are here to discuss about the lesson 3 that is liberty. Big data is watching you. The liberal story cherishes human liberty as its number one value. It argues that all the authority ultimately stems from the free will of individual humans as expressed in their feelings, desires, or choices. In politics, liberalism believes that the voter knows the best, therefore it upholds the free democratic elections. In economics, liberalism believes that the customer is always right, therefore it hails the free market principles. On the personal front, liberalism encourages people to listen to themselves be true to themselves and follow their heart until or unless they do not infringe on the liberty of others. Now, when we're talking about referendums and elections, they're not based on the basis of the human rationality. They're based on the basis of the human feelings. If the referendums and elections were to be based on the basis of the human rationality, it would have been no sense to give people equal voting rights or perhaps any voting rights at all. If we take an example of a country like India, where 70% of the population is uneducated, how can we expect these people to vote for their representatives on the basis of their rationality? It's done on the basis of their feeling. Now, when we're talking about feelings, let's talk about feelings for a moment. What's the first thing that comes in your mind? that maybe feelings are some unique human spiritual quality. My dear friends, feelings are not some unique human spiritual quality. And they do not exhibit any kind of free will. Instead, feelings are the biochemical changes that all the birds and mammals experience in order to quickly manipulate and calculate the chances of survival and reproduction. Our feelings aren't based on our intuition or freedom. They're just based on one thing, and that is calculation. For we humans right now are at a confluence of two immense revolutions. The biologists are deciphering the mysteries of the human mind and that of the human feelings. And on the same hand, the computer scientists are giving us unprecedented data processing power. When the biotech revolution merges with the infotech revolution, it's going to create big data algorithms that can understand and manipulate my feelings much better than I can. And that authority might probably shift from humans to computers. Hacking and hacking human decision making will not only make big data algorithms more reliable, they'll simultaneously make the human decision-making less reliable. Once AI starts making better decisions than we do about our careers or perhaps even our relationships, our concept of humanity will have to change. Once authority shifts from us humans to the artificial intelligence, we may no longer perceive the world to be a playground where autonomous individuals are struggling to make the right choices. We'll see the entire universe as a flow of data and us humans nothing more than biochemical organisms whose cosmic vocation is to uh, create an encompassing data processing system and then to merge it. Human emotions trump philosophical theories into countless other situations. Like all mammals, we humans use our feelings in order to quickly calculate life or death decisions. We humans have inherited our lust, 
our fear and our anger from our millions of ancestors and from which we've been passed the most rigorous of the qualities. Computers, on the other hand, are not shaped by natural selection and therefore they neither have feelings nor do they have gut instincts. Now, when we're talking about the pros of computers, the real problem with robots is exactly the opposite. We should fear them because they'll probably always listen to the orders of their masters and never rebel. The real problem with robots is not their own artificial intelligence, but the natural stupidity and the cruelty of their masters. Democracy at present is not ready for the merger of infotechnology and biotechnology. Either democracy would successfully reinvent itself into a new form, or we humans will have to live in a new form of world called the digital dictatorship. The danger is that if we invest too much into artificial intelligence and too little in developing the human consciousness, the very sophisticated artificial intelligence will only serve to empower the natural stupidity of the humans. Thank you very much. With this, we come to the end of lesson three. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you never miss a video whenever I post a new one. Thank you very much. Stay safe and signing off.